very latest. Moving on, Russian politicians, banks, and state businesses have officially been saying that the latest round of economic sanctions will not affect them. The energy sector has said that sanctions will hurt Europe and the U.S. a lot more than Russia. But many Russian economists and politicians worry that the opposite may be true. Tom Barton has more. Russia is the world's biggest exporter of natural gas and second biggest of oil. The state depends on energy for around half its budget revenue. And according to the Energy Information Administration, European countries account for around 84% of Russia's oil exports and three quarters of its natural gas exports. But while the cars roll by in central Moscow, running on cheap fuel, some analysts think these sanctions could put the brakes on Russian oil companies and that could damage the Russian government, given that oil and gas revenue is an important part of its income. <laughs> Even before the sanctions, the Russian economy was in a bad situation. Unfortunately, it was clear that for Russia's economy to grow, we would need to raise oil prices. And they stopped growing, despite the fact that they stabilized at a very high level that we could have only dreamed of 10 years ago. It seems they're not high enough for the economy to grow. Russia's oil producers are dependent on imported technology to help develop its energy sector. The advanced equipment comes in large part from European and U.S. companies, who will now be denied export licenses if the technology is destined for deep water, Arctic or shale oil production in Russia, though this applies only to oil and not gas so far. And the banking sanctions will also impact the energy sector, including state oil giant Rosneft, but less so Russia's second largest gas producer, Novatek. Rosneft did borrow a large amount to buy BP and has a lot of foreign debt, and it will have to refinance its debt in the coming years to reduce its debt burden. Less affected will be Novatek, for instance, which is also on the U.S. sanctions list because Novatek did not make any big purchases in recent years and is generating good income. Russia's second largest oil producer, Luke Oil, has already said it will have to reduce its investment program due to the sanctions. In a sign of possible retribution to come, Moscow has threatened the sanctions could mean higher energy prices for Europe. EU officials say it is up to Russia to de-escalate the situation in eastern Ukraine, adding the sanctions can be lifted or tightened at any moment. Tom Barton, CCTV, Moscow.